What I would like to see in that bill, of course, is relief for our rural health care systems, the second pass for the Paycheck Protection Program, which is a program I have worked extensively on. We still have a number of small businesses hurting across Iowa. I also had a child care provision that was included in that package. Do you think we need another round of stimulus checks? I've been calling for months uh, for more uh, aid. I would be focusing on making sure we're getting support into the hands of individuals and workers and certainly into our businesses. Um, and so we need to extend unemployment benefits. Uh, we need to make sure we have more testing and PPE. We need to extend our PPP program for our small businesses. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce had really proposed a great middle of the road kind of solution as far as the unemployment insurance where they said, well, um, you know, we can be more responsive to which states need it most depending on unemployment levels. And so they proposed instead of, you know, the $600 in addition to state unemployment uh, coverage, let's, let's offer states a range between $200 and $400. I would propose $200 and $500 depending on the state's unemployment level. And as an economist, these numbers are important to me because what we're trying to do is prevent despair. But the best way to do it is with a, a, a flat flat stimulus check that everybody gets uh, and then of course they spend it in the wisest way possible and then we get the, the maximum net benefit from that kind of an approach. You can't ruin the economy and expect good results. Uh, that, that just doesn't work. The, a bad economy kills more people than COVID does. With so many businesses hurting after the COVID crisis, these candidates all agree that we need to tackle the pandemic before we can take on the economy. Cynthia Fodor, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.